I, I started um, as an abstract painter, but I always was out in the landscape and um, in uh, making abstract paintings, and, um, but always loved landscape itself. And my uh, paintings that were abstract sort of gradually started to um, become landscapes just on their own. And then, and then really I had a one, you know, experience one day where it just became evident to me that they really, those paintings really wanted to be landscapes. And I was really interested in what went on above that area that I identified as the horizon. And, and so that sky uh, thing has always been there since that point and uh, I've always tried to develop this guy. I don't mind having people look over my shoulder while I paint. It's um, it's a different experience and I didn't know how that would be uh, for me but it, it turns out to, it's fine you know I don't um, I, I, I sort of like hearing what people have to say and their impressions as they go along or you know as, as the painting is developing uh, People come in, give me their comments, and um, and uh, you know it makes me see the painting sometimes differently, sometimes not. Um, but I think that their experience of seeing the paintings um, that are finished in the rest of the gallery is enhanced by seeing me do uh, the layers that go into making up the painting. As landscape itself um, is endangered. And by that I mean that um, raw land as we know it is becomes developed and, and paved over and, and horizons get uh, interrupted by buildings and, and there seems to be not as many places to go to see landscape um, in its quote-unquote pristine state. I know there's no such thing, but, but basically undeveloped landscape. As that kind of disappears, landscape painting kind of disappears too.